300. What's the deal? It's your folks, Shaka. I wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. So this story about this Bobby Alto girl has been shared around a lot. It's kind of like making headlines. And, you know, a brother just kind of like wanted my thoughts on it. I mean, right now she's kind of up front uh, because this dude Offset came on her podcast. And uh, people were kind of like revving up the whole uh, she's a plant talk again. Now, if y'all have been kind of like following the new DJ Academics over there, uh, maybe a month or so ago, he was kind of like breaking down why he believes she is a plant. And so a brother, you know, he wanted my thoughts on it. And he wanted to know if I believe she is a plant. Um, yeah, I do. I think that she is a plant. And the reason why they are putting her in this position today, specifically her, is because, and, and as well as uh, their men, too, over there. Because a lot of these uh, other dudes over there got a lot of these uh, podcasts that are popping, but it ain't because of them. It's because they are being provided a lane. And the reason why they have got to this point, including Vlad and all of these other people, is because these so-called black artists, okay, who have that influence, naturally, they pull up and they support the movement, okay? That's just what it is. That's why y'all got to understand this when y'all get to talking about she's the plant. Question that needs to be asked to all of y'all yapping this is, okay, well, who do you blame for working out? Okay? Because it don't work if the people that are featured on their shows, including this girl Bobby Otto, it don't work out if they don't pull up. Alright? That's just the truth of the matter. See, none of them so-called tap dancing black artists over there never said, nah, I'm not pulling up on that. Alright? That got hip hop looking like a joke out here. How is she even up front like that? No, they don't. You know, they kind of put them up there on her show and to kind of throw you off. They'll have clowns like Offset on there, you know what I'm saying, trying to talk a little sedity with the bride. And you'll think that he got the upper hand in the situation. No, he does not. Okay. And nobody who was featured on there, including Drake. The truth of the matter is that girl Bobby Althoff and her team got the upper hand, okay? Because she's the one growing more and more, okay, into an outlet that could eventually have an opinion on where these dudes' music is going to go, okay? Even if she just built the platform and started adding other elements to it, you did. And so, yeah, man, um, you know, she is a plant. And a big reason why is because, number one, just like I said, these people want to remain the gatekeepers, okay? And then, number two, they understand that they are losing a lot of influence out here, okay? And so, when that happens, what do they do? They got to tap into the so-called black community, all right? Especially the black integrationists, because the black integrationists, okay, they're going to participate for real without real question. All right, they're going to play right along. And so them understanding that they are losing a lot of influence, which is very important to them. OK, a lot of the clout in the position that they have out here today is because of the influence that they had or they have that's fading fast <laughs> over so-called black people. OK, so they're going to do whatever they got to do uh, to kind of like get that back. All right. And. They try to be slick about it. That's the reason why they had to do Drake back off for a couple of reasons. Number one, because it was a terrible look on him because a lot of these people start asking, OK, that's where you pulled up to over anything else. OK, and then number two, it was making it look way too obvious that she was a plant. OK, because people are like, man, you know her. All right. And so that's one of the main reasons why they kind of like had the dudes on there being critical of her. But the fact that they showed up, OK, they couldn't really tell this woman nothing 
all right, that would have had her uh, in a position where she and her team don't have the upper hand, all right? Specifically because, first and foremost, they came on the show. You did. And so, man, that's what I kind of like think about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, I don't really, you know, most of them, when it comes to them just being in any industry that's primarily dominated by so-called black people or where black people primarily have the majority of the influence, they are almost always planted, okay? Because it ain't no way they're going to pull up and build it from the ground up, okay? And they have to compete against other so-called black people, okay? For real, for real. Like that girl Bobby Otto, you know, ideally, okay, in an ideal situation, she's not about to compete with other groups of women, you know what I'm saying, uh, with a platform like that, and she ain't getting no help from these social media outlets in the industry. That's not happening at all, okay? It's specifically happening and on and popping because of these very entertainers that are pulling up. And y'all ain't looking at them at all. Right now, they're trying to entertain this whole offset interaction to the highest degree. All right? We're really, at the end of the day, the only thing that do offset did, including Drake, Lil Yachty, and whoever else, they pulled up on that girl and they gave her just a little more promotion. All right? that is putting her ahead by a whole lot. You did, including the rest of those other folks in the game over there. It's 300.